how to study and pass science practicals. Oh my god, see this, see this, see this, see this, see this with all this. Who would tell me that science practicals are not fun? But why do people still fail science practicals? In this video, we'll talk about what you should do before during and after science practicals so before science practicals i will advise you to study so we'll talk about that in details during pra science practicals seriousness we'll talk about that in details and after pra science practicals what you should do taking an example of waek you will see that what out of three questions that they will give you the three questions would amount to 80 marks and out of 80 marks uh, out of uh, that 80 marks will be drawn from what from 200 max and if you look at it very well that means your biology practical for waek would carry 40 percent that's what that's in just two hours looking at chemistry as well you see that what three questions would amount to be 50 max out of 200 max and with this they will grade 25 percent that's just in one and a half hours now look at physics as well you see that in just 2.75 hours you will see that what they will give you 50 50 uh, they, they will give you 50 marks out of 160 marks to grade you for just only two questions that's 31.25 percent you see that practical is an integral part of passing a what a given science examination so in this very video we'll analyze everything you need to understand about that if you are new to the very channel don't forget to click the red subscribe button and the notification bell so that you enjoy more as you release them so now before the examination what should you do that's studying right so you need to understand the practical very well if you need to uh, revise what you've learned in school do that go through the units go through their words go through their labels if it is talking about biology you need to go through their, uh, their, their labels, you need to go through the what, the technology stamps. You need to draw those diagrams to understand how the labels will be labeled and likes. I've actually done a video on um, biology, practical, how to label and things like that in biological drawing. So if you need that, you can click the card you can see at the top right corner of this very video. So now talking about that, you need to understand this very practical, very, very well, so after you've understood it, because I realized that most people just go for practical examination, you say that was they don't really revise. No, no, it is what you have that you got that you'll be able to use during that very examination. And during this very revision and the likes, understand something. You must what you must know that practical is different from written examination. So the way you read for written examination is different from the way you read for practical examination. Why do I say this? I like that some persons will just have to cram during written examination. Just look at it. This is A is B and all that. So they need to cram. But talking about practical examination, you can't do that. Practical examination is about the terminology, it's what you have. So you need to understand the concept behind those practicals. I tell you, even the, the theories are what? Are built on, like the theories are just there. It is these very practicals that would help you to understand the theories. Understand the theory aspect of each each practical so that while you are trying to what to do this in the examination or while you are trying to remember things you would understand and uh, it would stick to your memory. To practice each practical like pieces now you know there are a lot of practicals there so if it is simple pendulum and the likes you have to practice and practice and practice if you can uh, meet your teachers that ah, I don't understand these things but I want to practice so with practice and practice and practice you will understand those kind of errors that could come out while doing that very examination and while you are doing the examination you will be able to avoid those errors looking at someone that has been drawing uh, a gamma lizard for maybe like five times uh, i said five times maybe like 50 times now you understand why he or she is drawing that gamma lizard she or she will be able to understand where it is and the likes and other parts of that very gamma lizard and with this errors will be avoided during the examination if you need if you realize that ah, you've been studying you've been revising it seems that these practicals I, you don't really understand them what you should do now is to what to meet a friend meet a teacher you can go through online resources just like my channel as well 
I have I've created several videos that would help you. You can check in the description section for the for your links. So this would help you to ace your practical examination. There are several online resources. Now practice, practice, and practice. This is before the examination. If it is physics, I have done a alternative to a practical physics video, which you can check in the description section. And uh, biology also, you can check that also in the description section. This would help you. You have to practice. Go through several practical questions uh, uh, for previous years and the like so that you understand how they are being set and how you could what you could ace those uh, paper if you were the one doing that very examination the next now is during the examination this is very important even if you've read or you've studied before the examination during the examination is very essential because that this is when you will reproduce what you have so if you can't reproduce well i told you you will fail that very examination and i pray you will not fail so the first thing is what is for you to adhere to rub rubrics you say that some persons will not adhere to rubrics what is the rubrics that i'm talking about it is talk i'm actually talking about the instructions that these very uh people would give you the instructors will give you it is written you have to read the paper read the question sheets uh, to understand the, the instructions first i told you there was an examination let me there was an examination physics practical examination i did I told you that is practical examination. I did not really read the. I did not go through the rubrics very well. I did not read the instructions. So it was when I finished and I realized that yeah, there is a scale we should do, use this like the unit we were given scale and the like. So we were given a scale for that very unit. Me, I was using another scale entirely. I know that they gave us another scale. I'm telling you, I re uh, see. Uh, I just received grades that at that time because the, this very this very uh, the examiner. Everybody, it, it is time already. People have already submitted. I have to beg the examiner that please, please just help me. This is not why I go. Please just help me. Please just help me. That please, I, I realize this and this and this and this. So I have to just beg the examiner to give me some minutes. Then I went through the scale that I should have done before at, at the beginning of the of the very of the, of the examination. I went through that scale. I was now I cancelled all those stuffs I did. Then I hey, I went back. And I did the correct thing, but there could not be a no. Why uh, why could not be like this? So you should need to understand. Neko will not be like this. And several exams, so you need to understand that what you need to read the instructions very very well. The next thing one now is to is to be extra serious. If there is a word for extra serious, use it and quote that. You must be extra serious while you are in the examination hall. What do I mean by this? This would help you to boost your confidence. Why? Because while you are in the examination world and you are serious with your, with your stuff, be like, ah, even to the minute, like, ah, this, this unit, I must understand it very well. No, this thing, I must understand it very well. This thing, I must understand So that you will be very sure that this very result, it is accurate. So even while you should be destabilized, maybe while you are doing that very, um, that very practical, something could just come up and you'll be like, ah, have I gotten the correct answer like this? You'll be sure that no. I actually did this so you, you boost your confidence level and with this be able to score well in that very examination and also note this the unit that I told you to uh, to note while you are studying so make sure this unit this is time this is the time for you to reproduce that very unit so the unit should be what should be written correctly and also uh, talking about the formulas also use correct formulas the next one now is the labels the labels of dra uh, of uh, biological diagrams and the likes so make sure you understand that as well and talking about the neatness of your uh, practical also so please make sure they are neat graphs and the likes so next is on time management so be conscious of the time so that you will be what you will be serious though you'll be extra serious just like i said i adopted that word i don't think there's something like extra serious in the dictionary so though you'll be extra serious at the same time you must be conscious of the time at the same time go through your what your work after you are done now the next one now is on approximation if you look at approximation very well sometimes you could be required to use uh, maybe like uh, one decimal place you could be required to use maybe like two significant figures uh, three significant figures and the likes please adhere to these very instructions and uh, after the examination include god don't forget to click the red subscribe button and also the notification bell i will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.